My name is Kelly Stumpy, and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. I'm a former car salesperson, and my family actually owns dealerships in the St. Louis area. I am a mom of two. I have a son named George, who's two years old, and a daughter named Hattie, who's 10 months, and I'm a certified child passenger safety tech. I started the car mom to honestly reconnect with women and with car sales. I'm very passionate about selling cars. It's something that I did for two years. I had a lot of fun doing it, but when I became a mom, the hours were hard to keep up with, so I took a back seat working at the dealership, did some more operational type things. But during the coronavirus, when I was pregnant with my daughter, I just was kind of reflecting on how difficult it was for mothers to take their children places. I mean, I know that I was like, wow, I can't even take my toddler to the grocery store. How are these mothers and these women taking their toddlers, their babies, their multiple children to these car dealerships to look at different vehicles? So I thought, well, I have access to cars. What if I could just review the cars and help women take cars on and off their list? I can show what a stroller looks like. I can show if the car seat actually even fits in it. So I just started reviewing the cars just as a mom and it really seemed to resonate with people. So my audience has always been curious about electric vehicles. It's, it's on the horizon and my audience has so many questions. So I did a poll on my Instagram and I said, hey, just what are your electric vehicle questions? And I got so many amazing questions that I think probably a lot of people are also wondering. You know, a lot of my audience tells me I drive this big car and never use the third row. And what's funny about some of those mid-sized seven passenger cars is everyone thinks they're awesome, thinks they're so big, but the trunk space is horrible. You can't hardly, there's very few that you can actually fit a stroller in with the third row up. So families are frequently putting that third row down. What I like about this car being a five passenger car, the trunk space is great. I mean, we had a stroller in there, had a car seat in there, and did a Costco run. So it's the size of putting the third row down on some of these big cars anyway. So if you, buy, purchase, finance an electric vehicle that's new to the market like the ID4, it qualifies you for a $7,500 tax credit, which is obviously awesome. It doesn't apply if you lease the vehicle. However, I would, I would ask you to do the pros and cons of leasing versus buying for any vehicle. I like leasing in some cases for growing families who are within the mileage limit just because I feel like as your family's growing, sometimes it's hard to predict your family growth or your, your um, family planning of the vehicle. So while it's working for one kid, if you're like, well, we might have more, I don't know how many we're gonna have, and then whoops, you have twins, and now we have, we're very tight in the vehicle and you might need something bigger, I do see a benefit to leasing. Um, so it, I, would, I would have to ask you leasing versus buying more for your situation, not just necessarily for an electric vehicle. I would say it's definitely your preference. What's great about the ID4 is you don't. Uh, you can plug it into a standard outlet. So I, if, if this was my vehicle, I have access to a faster charger at work. So I would probably, when I get to work, plug it in recoup all the miles that I lost on my commute here. And then I'd probably just keep using my standard outlet at home. I mean, I drive about, honestly, close to 80 miles a day, um, a little bit less sometimes. And I was able to recoup all of those miles overnight. So to me, I probably wouldn't do it right away. And I would think it would just depend on your access to different charging stations and how many miles you put on the vehicle per day. But you certainly don't need to. Well, you know, I am test driving this baby in August, so I will say, but even me using the air conditioning at full blast, honestly, because especially when I have rear facing kids, it's really important that I have good circulation in my back seat. So I have the air up high and I've had plenty of range. Um, as far as cold weather is concerned, I think you kind of just have to trust the vehicle to know that it will be the most efficient as possible. These vehicles are very intelligent and the fact that it wants to be it wants to be as efficient as possible and you have the option to turn on an eco mode to drive it in b mode to really maximize the efficiency standard on the vehicle it has heated seats and a heated steering wheel which is a must have for cold weather so in a typical gas car you have multiple different fluid changes and there's just a lot more moving parts to power a gas vehicle long term i do i would expect not only to be at cost effective but also time effective for the most part, because you're not gonna be spending, you know, every three months in a dealership getting your oil changed. 
As far as the car seat setup is concerned, we have two sets of lower anchors on either outboard seat and then tether anchors across the bench. So that gives a lot of flexibility because um, obviously in some situations you can install rear facing or forward facing car seats with the lower anchors, but you need tether anchors to install forward facing car seats. I have two very large rear facing car seats right there. They fit great uh, and I was able to fit in the middle of them. So the million dollar question is, can you fit three across? And I would say it's, it's hard to tell because everyone has a certain Everyone has a different combination of car seats available in different ages of kids, but I'm impressed with the size of the bench. It's, it's very well done. It's, it's futuristic. It's very modern. It's very aesthetically pleasing. And I think it's most important functional. So I really like how user-friendly the infotainment system is. That's something that I always look for as a mother just because I think mothers are already such distracted drivers. It's not that it's our fault. If you ever drive around with two screaming kids in the back, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's hard. So I love the simplicity of the design. I love that it comes with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto because that couldn't be more user-friendly. I'm already using it every day on my phone. Um, so yeah, I've been, I like that.